Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Planet Zoo. I'm here with our beautiful snow leopard in her freshly decorated exhibit as the alarm bells go off in the background. <laughs> I'm sure it's the bison again, and I'm sure you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about. I recorded an episode before this that unfortunately got lost because Streamlabs OBS did not save my settings and I did not double check like I normally do and thusly the resolution to the episode was wrong and so it was very squished. I was a squished cuppy and this was a squished snow leopard and I couldn't figure out if there was any way to change the resolution post recording so I trashed it but I saved, of course, so you won't be able to see me build the exhibit for our snow leopard. But that's all right. We're, we're not going to cry over spilled milk. There are other issues in the world that are far more important than lost footage. And I can always give you the tour as soon as it is daytime and not snowing. And now that it's morning, I will give you a little bit of the tour. So I ended up building a cute little climbing fixture for our snow leopard. That was quite fun. I'm getting better and better at the duplicate and move tool. The bison did not escape. He's just enjoying a fresh swim. Look at this. He's so happy. Look at him kick his little legs. He's the happiest bison. He's totally fine. Everybody... Calm down. He hasn't escaped. Goodness gravy. Panicking for no reason. My goodness. Anyways, back to the tour. <laughs> I added some bedding in her shelter. Oh, I was like, what is that? That's her. She's enjoying her bedding right now. Our beautiful, beautiful girl. I added plenty of rocks for climbing, trees, a bunch of enrichment because our researchers were at work. They definitely got things knocked out when I asked them to, even though they aren't all the way trained. Our guests are okay with this exhibit. I am learning that even though I love plants and plants are awesome, it can potentially block the view of the animal and guests don't love that. Our wolves are doing really, really well which I'm happy about, even though their exhibit looks so bare compared to the snow leopard. <laughs> and then, yes, I was going to start an American bison exhibit until I realized my footage was useless. So here's my thought, now that we've gotten this far. I'm wondering if we shouldn't just go ahead and jump into a franchise playthrough. I haven't finished all the tutorials. Now, it looks like there's a lot. It looks like you could go through tutorial after tutorial after tutorial for a while. Why are you low welfare? What's going on? Drink cleanliness. Uh, is it this? Is the what? Oh my gosh. Fix it. Fix it. It's so dirty. Clean the water. Clean the water. Ooh, I can add bubbles and mist. Water is dirty. Cuppy pays attention to bubbles and mist. Awesome. <gasps> That's so cool. How do I fix the water, though? I want to fix it. Oh, cleanliness is fine now. Weird. Weird. No, it still says the welfare is bad. Fix it! Fix it! <laughs> okay. Anyways, all things that we've learned and we'll keep learning as we continue. And let me know what y'all think in the comments. Obviously, I could start franchise and then if all of y'all are like, no, continue the tutorial, I could just continue the tutorial. But I'm really kind of wanting to jump into just building and seeing what we can do. And we may fail. We may go broke. It may not work. We may have to start over. But I kind of just want to do it. So let's go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Okay, so we can change this later if y'all have better suggestions. But I was sincerely thinking about calling this 
Zoo Quest Sanctuary as a nod to our Minecraft series that I love so much. Hopefully I spelled sanctuary right. Pay attention in school, kids. That's all I can say. <laughs> what do we get? Oh my gosh, we got a hundred leaves. I will claim new zoo. Oh gosh, here we go. Um, I don't mean to be basic, but I think for our first try, we should go with North America in the temperate biome. Oh, I just had a realization. So our franchise, we can edit and just call it Zoo Quest, right? And then we can call this Zoo Quest Sanctuary. <laughs> there we go. Just Zoo Quest. And we'll call this Zoo Quest Sanctuary. This is awesome. I'm so excited. Sing it. I've been here before, and every time I'm shocked at how bare it is. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that it actually shows hills in the distance. It would be very, very strange if it was flat all the way across. But we just happened upon this very lucky stretch of super flat land to build a zoo. We have $40,000. Very, very small. We need a staff room epically. So that will probably... Oh, nope, not right now. That'll be our first goal is to build some stuff for our staff and get things rolling. And then I'll come back and build a better entryway. But I want all of our funds at the moment to be purposeful rather than just for luxury and aesthetic purposes. I also went ahead and paused because for while we're building, there really is no purpose for the zoo itself to go on in time. We're not taking care of any animals right now, so pausing is probably the smarter thing to do anyway. I'm just moving these trees, which hopefully isn't costing us any money. Perfect. I love to see it. And we're going to start putting in our staff stuff. Oh, this is so great. Uh, this may be the boring part, so get ready for a speed build. And forgive me if this episode is shorter or longer than usually intended. Speeding it, speeding things up is really hard to tell when you're in it how long it's going to be when it's sped up. So we'll see how long this episode turns out.
after a really long time. I have no idea how long that speed up was, but it felt long because it was long. <laughs> so I built our staff room. I actually ended up doing a double staff room because I want to have enough staff in the beginning to really help us out. If we have extra space, great. Cool. I don't think there's any harm in having an extra staff room. And I added a cute little decoration on the side so this just didn't look lame. But I did the green plaster wall with the wood plank on top. And I just thought it was so cute. And eventually, once we get some more uh, prop items, I think we have to research with our mechanic for that. But once we get some more prop items, I want to make this like a garden shed area where we've got wheelbarrows and all kinds of stuff that uh, a gardener or a mechanic could use. I just thought it would be super cute to put it there. I added some street lamps for when it turns night, but that is our first official build, which is incredible. I want to go ahead and add maybe a few of our trees that we moved over kind of back in this area and maybe add some other foliage because plants plants are important. We need plants in this world to be happy. Look at that. That already makes it better just by adding that one little tree. I love trees. I absolutely adore trees. I was hoping to find some floor lamps, but that's something else we're going to have to research. There's so much to this that we are going to have to discover in franchise mode. I've played a lot, a lot. I say a lot. I've played more in the sandbox mode and you just have unlimited money and everything is researched and it's all awesome. Well, we don't have that for here. Oh, that's cute. It looks like there's ivy on the wall. I, I can I can get behind that. I can get behind that. Okay. Oh, it's precious. I just need to make sure our door back here. Perfect. And then here we could take our terrain even. I don't know how expensive it is to do this, but we could do light soil whoa let's make that small not that small like a four no four is huge whoa can i have a balance yeah we can come over here and make it look like somebody's been walking back and forth from here and zoom in perfect add some here as well nice that's going to be a cute little storage shed area. I'm super psyched about that. And I added a few more things. I added an air conditioning. I added an outlet and a light switch so that when somebody walks in here, they can flip the lights on and off. Cute little, probably super unnecessary things, but I want it to look as realistic as humanly possible. So now I kind of want to just look at nature and see what we've got going for us here. Add a few flowers here and there, just kind of tucked in. And then I think we're going to be done with our staff room. And with those few plans, we are done with the staff center. So I guess the next thing it's saying that you really, really need is a keeper hut. So let's do that. Perfect. Now our keeper hut is kind of off by itself and I'm sure that's fine. We could absolutely say that our head keeper lives here, which would be really cute since it's all over here in the staff area that we're going to make. But we will have more keeper huts throughout as we need more keepers and we'll have them close to exhibits as the keepers start to get spread out and overwhelmed. But that's a good start. I'm kind of wondering if maybe we shouldn't make one big like kind of rounded building. Might be really, really cute to do. I don't know if I'll be able to accomplish that because it's got windows. But it could be cute. I could also move this over here and do just kind of like a long straight road. This is pretty adorable though. I don't know why, but I love the idea that the keeper hut is just kind of like on its own. So I think we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. All right, I'm going to try and make this keeper hut look a little similar to our staff room. And then that'll probably be all the time we have for this episode.
And there we go. There's our head zookeeper hut. That one was a little bit easier, but we kept with the same theme, which I love. I think we'll probably add a another light maybe. We may not need to because that light should help us out pretty good. I could also just move the light over here maybe, but I kind of like it next to this big building, especially next to these doors if they need light to open the doors. So we might actually put one right here real quick. And there we go. I'm not gonna add any foliage just yet. I would possibly like to put a barrier up right here to kind of hide some of this, maybe some more hedges, or we might even get rid of these hedges altogether because we're gonna redo the entrance later. But I don't wanna spend a whole lot of money on the entrance right now. I wanna get our staff comfortable, and then we're gonna work on a reptile and insect house. It's gonna be the very first thing that we're doing. So we can look forward to that. Hopefully next time, maybe we can start copy pasting some of this stuff for other buildings and make this go on a little faster. So I'm sorry we didn't get to animals today, but our humans are just important as our animals. They need a place to be comfortable, relax, recoup, do research, study, and be in a good mental state to help our animals because that's what they're really there for. So the humans are important too. All right, y'all. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, give the like button a tickle and a poke. Subscribe to join our family if you haven't already and jingle the bell to be notified of when I post more Planet Zoo <laughs> and kind of Zoo Quest, which is weird. <laughs> in our Zoo Quest Sanctuary of Planet Zoo. Also feel free to click the follow me link in the description below if you want to see me live at any point on Twitch or join Discord where you can talk to me every day. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next week for more Planet Zoo.